Hi again, I continue on the lesson. Um, so here I have a bronze that is an alloy that contains uh, copper and tin. Okay, so the ratio is this. So this one is for this one. So that's a ratio in by mass. But I don't know what is unit because it doesn't matter. 23 whatever to 2 whatever. Okay, so the same units. So what uh, mass of each metal is present in 100 alloy? Remember, 100 alloy is total. So I have to say, I'm looking for Cu now. Okay, so 23, oops, 23 over 23 plus 2 over how much over 100? Okay, so then what is X? So it is 23 over 25 x over 100 and then 2300 is 25x and then x is 92 x is 92 92 gram okay for the other one which is 10 you can do the same thing or you can say 100 minus because you didn't so that's easy because you didn't um, so here, here you can do both of them. You can do both method because you didn't round here, so you can do both, and you, you, they give you the same answer. So I do two over twenty-three plus two equal x over hundred. So two over twenty-five is x over hundred, and two hundred is twenty-five x. So x is eight gram. So 8 grams, so this is for Cu, this is this, this, okay? Don't forget to write the sentence here, the conclusion. Then it says, how about how much of this if I have this uh, 10? So this is not total, no, no. So I do, it says how much co copper. So I do 23 up because it's asking for that, asking for a CU, 23 over uh, 2, yes, and how much over 100? So it's this one equal 2x, right? And then I can find the answer. So let me see um, how many grams of that is for that one, right? So how many copper? Okay, so copper I have 23 over 2, which is um, copper and tin. And this was to SN. So now copper and SN. Yeah, 100. So then I can find the answer. So X is this divided by 2. Okay. Yes, which is 1150 gram of uh, copper see you see you okay then i can write the sentence as well remember here i add them that's a very good question here i add them because it says alloy here i don't add them because it's uh, part by part okay yeah how about the next part how many gram of thin are 400 copper? So now it's uh, opposite. Okay. So this. 2 to 23 is how much over 100? So it is 200 equal 23x. And then x, oops. 200 divided by 23 is 23x divided by 23. And then x is... 200 divided by 23. Okay. 
which is 8 8.6956 I underline that check that it is almost 8.70 okay for uh, so for example for example 8.8.7 so here in order to round so here I have to so know what is rounding properly so or somebody has to tell me what to round so it, it's okay so for now I just accept for example for example I round to three significant digits and I have to teach you how to round for um so your um even Wiley plus questions and so you need to know them you need to know the answer maybe i can share the lesson okay because we, we will see it later okay so it's that and then you have to say okay what is the unit okay the unit is gram okay this many gram and this many gram okay so you have to see what so here i'm asking for this so i start with this one thing how about this question? When carbon burns to in air, this many gram of carbon dioxide are formed for every one gram of carbon. Okay, so one gram C is making 3.664 carbon dioxide CO2. Okay. I can't keep this in my mind. This is the first piece of information. This is the first ratio. The condition is the same. Situation is different. So go to the next situation. This many grams are consumed. Means this. How much of this is burned? Sorry. How much of this is produced? Okay. So I have this one. And I'm looking for this one. Okay. So I can write this way. One gram C. 3.664 CO2. Remember both of them uh, gram gram. Okay, so this many gram carbon over how much CO2. Okay, so I can say 9.06 3.664. Oops. I have to write this here. 3.664 equal x. Okay, and then x is yes, x is nine point. So x is nine point zero six times three point. Oh, okay, three point six six four. Uh, oh, I made a mistake here. So it is 9.06 times 3.664, which is 3319. So 3319584 gram. Okay, so I start from here. Then I go here and I find the answer. Then I can say, okay, so for example here, I round to the, so to the, to the least significant digit, and you will see this in future, why? Okay, so here I underline, so for now I have to tell you how to round, okay, because we don't know how to round properly. So, I mean how to round appropriately, so when we say, so in this kind of questions. So don't forget you need to write a sentence. And what is this? Okay. So how about this? If 4 grams of carbon are consumed, how much that is produced? So it's the same question. With the same type. Right? Or let me see. Yeah. Okay. So I can say the same. So 1 over... 3.664 um, 4 over how much? Yeah. And then x is 4 times 
3.664 which are oops which are equal 14.656 yes so i need to 4 times 3.664 yes and that's gram okay and here this one must be yes in the this one is this so i can see in the note it must be this one okay so 4.0 okay and 4.0 mathematically and in terms of number 4.0 and 4 are the same but not scientifically not in terms of significant digit okay so i round to the least significant digit which is just two okay So it is almost 15 gram. Don't forget the sentence. How about this? 11 gram of carbon dioxide are formed. How many gram are consumed? So 1 gram, C, 3.664 gram CO2. Yes? So, okay, I drink my tea, otherwise I cough a lot, okay, so, one gram of C gives this many CO2 and then it says, this guy, is for this one all of them gram so and how many okay and then i can find x so 11 times 0 1 is x times okay so 3.664 x so x is this divided by which is 3.0049 which is almost 3.005 gram and what is the reason because here i have uh four significant digits so but still i need to really talk about rounding here and uh, let me see the question i wanted to see the question so here is one gram so I'm not sure how about that one gram, how many significant digits for that. Okay, so for that rounding part, you just have to watch what I say for rounding. So how many you round, okay? So I want to talk about separation. Separation is another type of question for ratios, proportion. See, I have $500, but I don't want to divide between two people. I don't want to divide equally. I want the ratio of one part to the ratio of the other part would be 3 over 7. So means the amount that I give to one person to the amount that I give it to the other person would be like 3 over 7. So I don't want to divide exactly equal. If I want to do equal, so it's 250, 250. Yes. Okay. But no, I don't have that. So what should I do here? So method number one. I have a total, okay, I can write total equal ratio 1 ratio 1 plus ratio 2 k, I can find k k is a constant number in this situation so what does this mean so here i can say 500 dollar is 3 plus 7 times k so which is 500 dollar equal 10k and k is 50 okay so one person out of 500 one person has 3 times 50 
One person has seven times fifty. Okay, so one person has one hundred dollar. So one person has one fifty. Get out. Uh, sorry, what, what do I say? Dollar. <laughs> okay, so three times fifty. Okay, so one of them is. Uh, let me see. Yeah, one of them is three times fifty, and one of them is seven times fifty. Okay, so it is one fifty. It's not good to think about something else when you are doing math. So one fifty dollar, one of them, and the other one is seven fifty dollar. Am I right? Oh no, sorry, uh, 350. Yeah. Okay, so what happened? If you do 150 to 350, what happened? It's like 3 over 7, yes. Okay? But it doesn't mean I give, I give $3 to 1, $7 to 1. No. That's the ratio. Okay? So total goes here. What's wrong? Uh, total goes here. Ratio 1. Ratio 2. And that's K. We are going to find. Okay. I find K. K doesn't have anything to do with the answer. K is a constant number. Then you give 3 of those K. So to one person, seven of those K to another person. So one of them gets 150, one of them 350. This is the first method. The second method is if you do it with ratio. Okay, so you say 3 over 3 plus 7 is how much over 500? Why I do 3 plus 7? Because 500 in total is total. So X is 150 dollar. So, the answer for the other one, 7 over 3 plus 7 is X over 500. And X is $350. Okay? So, I can do with this method as well. That's the ratio. Okay? So, how about if I don't have exactly like 500 or something which would be divi dividable by 10 easily how about if i don't have that so what do i do in this case 497 for example 497 okay so i want to do the same thing so 497 equal 3 plus 5 k so it is 497 dollar equal 8 k what is k K is 497 divided by 8, which is this one. So, I have 497, one of them. 3K, one of them 5K. Okay, so one of them is 3 times this. <coughs> you find the answer. So, that's multiple 3 which is 186.375. For example, let's say you round it to... Okay, so I show, you, I show you that part later. How about the other one? So I multiply by 5 then. Okay, so it is 5 times this, which is 310.625. Okay. Okay, so let's say here you round, for example, you round this one to, for example, you round this one to one eight, for example, you round this one to one eight six point, let's say, so you do, for example, thirty eight, for example, okay. And this one you round to 
31063 for example if you add these two number the answer is um, so 310.63 plus 186.38 so it's not equal exactly with this okay it's not a big deal okay i know it's not a big deal but i'm just teaching you to know if you have a decimal number and you round the other part maybe won't be uh, what you really want because maybe when you add it's not exactly the same as total okay so maybe little more or less so what should i do in this case okay in this case you find part one you find part one which is this one then you go to this which is 186.38 for example uh for example for example okay and then you find part two five so what was total total minus part one this is part two okay so here you find you find part one so this is part one and then this is part two how total minus okay so i don't go by 3k 5k because i round it and then the other answer i round and then when i add i don't see exactly equal total okay i know it's not a big deal but i want to tell you if you <coughs> have a decimal number and you want to run maybe it's better you do this way you find part one for part two you do total minus part one okay how about here if i have three parts three people two seven zero 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 okay so what should i do I want to divide between three people with this ratio. Okay, so I can do this. I can say, okay, three over three plus five plus seven equal how much over two seven zero zero zero? This is three over um, fifteen. X over two seven zero zero zero. What is x? x is 3 times this divided by this, which is 5 for 0, 0 dollar. How about the next? The next, 5 over 3 plus 5 plus 7, how many over 27000? Why I add? Because I'm comparing total with total. So x is step by step 5 over 15 x over 27000 and x is 9000 okay i have to show you it otherwise so what's that when i have a word problem it's Okay, so how about, the, how about the last part, part 3? As I said, here it doesn't matter, but part, because we, I didn't round, but part 3 I can say 27000 minus 5400 minus 9000. What is left for the last one? Okay, so it is 2700 minus 5400 minus 9000. Okay. So it is twelve six zero zero dollar, right? And if I do with the other method, which is seven over fifteen equal x over two seven zero zero zero, I see seven times two seven zero 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 divided by fifteen, which is which is the same answer. Okay, so here I can do any of them because I did a round. So, but it's easier for me. It's easier for me to do this. For the last part, I divide total minus the other parts, which I found using proportion, using ratios, using all those things. Okay. 
So I'm done with the lesson here. So I finish and then I go to the next video.